Shalom YouTube, David here. Just wanted to make a quick video for you guys. As you all know, we are just a couple of weeks away from Halloween. And uh, I've noticed that a lot of Christians, a lot of churches are trying to find alternatives to this ho holiday because a lot of Christians like me, for example, we don't celebrate Halloween. So there's many churches that are trying to find alternatives such as uh, harvest festivals, for example. So they advertise as part of a, you know, a church function that they're putting on for their members, doing a harvest festival instead of celebrating Halloween. You know, as a Christian who doesn't celebrate Halloween myself for many reasons, I actually really appreciate the fact that a lot of Christians are rethinking this holiday. And I think it's a good idea that uh, churches are trying to come up with an alternative to Halloween, to give uh, people something else to celebrate. So in light of that uh, spirit to find an alternative, I would like to propose to you guys the perfect alternative. There's actually no reason to come up with our own harvest festival event because in the Bible, God has already given us several harvest festivals. So, for example, we just celebrated the Feast of Sukkot, which is an amazing week-long festival that we uh, come together, we worship God, we celebrate together. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we put on some great events. Uh, you know, the church that I uh, attend and that I celebrated Sukkot with, we actually had a, a big laser tag event uh, throughout the week. We went camping. We had great campfire discussions late into the night. Uh, it, it's a wonderful time to get together and to celebrate, and, and it's biblical as well, which is a plus. Uh, also, uh, Hanukkah is about to come up, which is another really great festival that Jesus, Yeshua himself, celebrated. And, you know, if you still want to dress up, if that's something that's important to you, throw in the Feast of Purim for, for good measure. Uh, it's found in the Book of Esther, and, you know, one of the traditions uh, in celebrating that holiday is to dress up. So, really, you're not really missing out on anything by cutting out Halloween and embracing the biblical holidays instead. So if you're already looking for an alternative to Halloween, there's no reason to come up with our own harvest festival. We just need to take that extra next logical step and celebrate the harvest festivals that God has already given us in the Bible. And they are so much more um, uh, fun, in my opinion. Uh, they're a lot more meaningful, um, obviously. You know, they're all biblical. They all have to do with amazing events in the history of, of uh, the Bible and the biblical characters in Israel. They all prophetically point to Yeshua and his work and the gospel message. So that would be my suggestion is uh, instead of celebrating Halloween, if you're looking for that alternative, get into the Word, study His biblical festivals, and I think that you guys will be blessed by that. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Shalom.